In this video, I'd like to give a quick rundown of how you use XYZ homework. Should have done this earlier, sorry about this, but I've been getting a lot of emails, on, especially on the graphing feature. So here's, I'm just going to run through, this is question 13 on the homework, and it's probably the most grass, graphing intensive. So the idea is that you want to uh, graph this piecewise function. <clears throat> And so the first part of the function is uh, takes place um, at below negative 2 or to the left of negative 2. So what I would do is, oh, and the graph that I'm trying to, or the equation I'm trying to graph is 3x plus 2, which is a linear equation that has a slope of 3. And at the when x equals negative 2, if we plug it in up there, we get uh, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So the point negative 2 negative 4 is not going to be on this graph because it says x is less than or equal to negative 2. So I'm going to choose an open dot. So I click down here on open dot. I go up to negative 2, negative 4, and I put an open dot. Okay? So that's the first step. Now I want to draw a line because 3x plus 2 is just a linear equation. And it has a slope of 3. Okay, whoops, I just realized that I put that dot in the wrong place. So we're going to clear all. Let's try it again. Negative 2, negative 4 is what I meant to do. Oh, wait, where are these other dots coming from? Stop that. It's pretty um, sensitive here. So there we go. So there's my <clears throat> open circle. And again, it's an open circle because it says x is less than negative 2, so I'm not actually going <clears> to <throat> plug negative 2 into the first equation. So now I just got to draw an equation or a line that goes with that. So it's a slope of 3. So now what I'm going to do is highlight the line button and I'm going to click and release on that point. And notice when I move here it just draws a line wherever I go. Okay, But you have to click and release. If you hold the, the button down, um, here let me show you what happens when you hold the button down. Clear all again. If I do this, if I click, whoops, I, I released again, clear off. If I do, if I click and hold it down, now it draws this weird line, this kind of thing, right? We don't want to do that, so we're going to clear all again. So to draw a line, I'm going to go to negative, oh, let me put the open circle back in. So negative 2, negative 4, there's the open circle. And then to draw the line, I'm going to click there. And release and then I'm going to go uh, so it's a slope of three so if I go over um, that would be over one so that would give me a slope of three and then I also go down to there so I'm only going to click down there um, I have noticed that if you do not make your line long enough it'll the XY's homework will mark it wrong okay and oh and if, and if you want to end the drawing you have to click again Otherwise, I'll just keep drawing lines. Okay, so then we go up to this one here. This is also a line. Um, it has a slope of, or a y intercept of 3 and a slope of negative 1 half. So um, again, if I, I want to find out what's happening in negative 2. So at negative 2, if I plug a negative 2 in there, I get one, negative 1 half times negative 2 is positive 1. So that'd be 3 plus 1 is 4. So um, I'm going to want a, po a closed dot at negative 2 comma 4. So I put a dot there. Why is it closed? Because this says x is greater than or equal to. So I can plug negative 2 in here. And when I do plug negative 2 in here, I get 4. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the line. So I come back down here, click on the line, come up here, and I will click on that spot and release. Then I'm going to go over to down 1. Over to down 1. Over to down one, just doing the slope, right? Over to down one. And I'm going to keep going right to the, as close as I can to the end of the thing. Oh, and then I got to do another click there if I want to end it. You can just double click there. It won't keep drawing. So now I've drawn the graph. And so let's check and see if I did it right. Um, where is it? Submit. 
Yay, I did it right. Okay, so that's a quick rundown of, of graphing on this, on the XYZ homework. Uh, so hopefully that'll clear up some confusion about how to graph. And also, the other thing that's really important to notice is in a, something like this, Notice when you click on this box to put an answer, there's a little, it looks like an arrow that shows up. If you click on that, it gives you some other options that you wouldn't be able to type. So that's kind of handy. Um, let's look at some more possibilities here. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find one that give me different possibilities. Oh, like right here. If I click on here and click the little arrow, Notice I get a whole bunch of stuff. I can make a fraction. I can make a power. That's a subscript, a square root, um, more than a, like a cube root or something like else. There's absolute value. There's parentheses. Um, you can even do uh, some different functions. And you can even do some trig stuff. So that's called math quill. And again, you get that by clicking on the answer box, and then you click this little up arrow. And that gives you those possibilities. And then you just save it when you're done. And that is a quick little lesson on entering information into uh, Math X, XYZ homework. Oh, let me go back real quick to the opening here. Um, let's see. There's another thing I wanted to point out. Where is it? Oh, if you click on Help. and wait <laughs> patiently. Hmm. Oh, it gives you all kinds of, these are all just little information pages where you can go and look at um, different things like that. Yours might not be this big, maybe this show me all this stuff because I am an instructor, but I think on the student version, there still is something like this. In fact, let me go and look at the student version. I've been doing that all along. So I hit help. Oh yeah, it's a smaller page. It still has some things like using the system, changing your user profile, uh, enrolling in a course, calendar, course map, taking assessments, entering math. That's kind of what we we're just talking about. It has a bunch of information about that. So um, again, you can get that by clicking on help up here. Um, you can also actually go to support. If you click on support, there's some student forms. That's where you can go in and post questions. This is the support email for the one of the tech people for the uh, XYZ math. And that's actually a phone support. You can call them if you're having trouble entering stuff. They, they won't help you with math, but actually they might help with math too. I don't know. But they will answer questions about your XYZ, um, how to use the system and stuff. All right. And that concludes this video.